Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to discuss about one other opportunity in the government jobs. Now, this video is about the recent notification for the requirement of assistant architect in Uttar Pradesh Public Works Department. Now, this is being conducted by Uttar Pradesh Public Service Commission. In this video, we are going to discuss all the details of this recently published notification and about this particular post of assistant architect. So, as I told you, uh, Uttar Pradesh Public Service Commission has released this recent notification for the requirement of uh, the vacancies of uh, assistant architect. This will be a permanent posting, a permanent job in uh, the public works department of the state of Uttar Pradesh and there are a total number of seven vacancies for this particular post of assistant architect. Uh, let us look into the details in this video. In the short video, we are going to discuss about the details on the number of vacancies, the eligibility criteria, who all can apply, what are the requirements with respect to age, language, domicile. We are going to discuss all those details and then the important dates for applying for this particular post of vacancy, the selection procedure, uh, what is expected and how to prepare for this particular post. Now, if you are someone who is planning to apply for this examination of assistant architect, this introductory video will be something which is the stepping stone, it would be the beginning of your uh, understanding for this notification. So, uh, the link for the detailed notification is also provided to you in the description of the video. You will need to go through it yourselves as well. But first, let us talk about the introductory part points so that you get a holistic understanding of this official notification by UPPSC. As far as the number, let us first start with the number of vacancies. As I already told you, this posting will be a permanent job in Public Works Department of Uttar Pradesh and there are a total of seven openings. And the good thing is, there are uh, uh, the, the, of these total six posts, uh, of, of the total number of seven posts, six are for unreserved category and one is for other backward castes OBC and there is also a, a reservation for one female candidate among these posts. Uh, now this, uh, the, uh, the only difference between the unreserved and the OBC post is, it is very important to remember because many students have this doubt. When you have openings at a state level in a state PSC, are the people of other states eligible for these posts? So let me clear the doubt for particularly for this particular, uh, as well as this notification of Uttar Pradesh Public Service Commission is concerned, it clearly states that uh, there is a requirement of the knowledge of language in the knowledge of Hindi is mandatory and uh, there is no no mandate or there is no requirement that you should be a domicile of Uttar Pradesh. Anyone across India who has knowledge of Hindi now they might ask you some proof for uh, so, uh, like uh, Hindi being a compulsory subject in plus 10th uh, standard certificate or so. The details of it are not yet out but knowledge of Hindi is mandatory. They might also conduct a Hindi test. So details of that are not yet published. Uh, but it is mentioned that the language of uh, the knowledge of Hindi language is mandatory and anyone across India can apply for these unreserved posts. However, for the reserved post that is there is one reserved post for OBC category. This will be uh, only for those people of Uttar Pradesh, those who are uh, those who have domicile of Uttar Pradesh that is they should uh, be a resident of Uttar Pradesh and has, should be done the 10th standard from uh, Uttar Pradesh itself uh, and should also possess the OBC certificate of non creamy layer then you will be eligible for this po reserved post other than that anyone across India who has a knowledge of Hindi will be eligible for the unreserved post so make that distinction remember that one that's clearly given in the notification as well as far as the nature of this post is considered uh, the post of assistant architect in public works department it will be group B gazetted post with a pay scale of level 10 which is uh, uh, an, uh, the topmost entry level uh, say pay scale uh, which you can expect in the state board as well uh, moving further to the eligibility criteria for this particular post there is only one requirement there is no work experience as such required it is only that you should possess a BR degree from a recognized institute uh, even though it is not mentioned in this initial notification it is advisable that you should also have the COA registration number and certificate so if you are someone who doesn't yet possess the COA registration uh, number make sure you do it at the earliest they are not asking for you for the registration certificate in the initial application however have it ready before 
for the certificate verification and so on in the future so for now uh, the eligibility criteria however is just the bachelor's degree in architecture the five-year bachelor's degree program in architecture which is recognized uh, on, by coa uh, so that's uh, with respect to the eligibility as far as educational qualification is considered there are eligibility criteria in addition to that mainly with respect to age the candidate should be a minimum of 21 years of age the maximum age limit is 40 years for the unreserved posts uh, six unreserved posts in this particular uh, notification so the maximum age limit is going to be 40 years uh, there will be age relaxation for reserved category posts however and the cutoff date for the calculation of age is going to be 1st of July 2024 not the last date of the notification but you should be within 40 years of age before the completion of this date of July 1st 2024 as it also told you knowledge of language Hindi is essential in order to apply for these posts so that's with respect to the eligibility criteria moving further let us discuss about the important dates for this notification by the time you are watching this video i think it's just a couple of days that this notification was released um, uh, the advertisement it was just released on uh, uh, 17th of october uh, as far as the commencement of the online application it is already live 17th of october is the opening date and the last date for payment of the fee now remember uh, this particular post for this particular post you should also so complete the online application you should also take out a printout and submit a hard copy of the application as well the, some it changes from post to post generally in UPPSC it is only online application it has been that way generally for other jobs but for this vacancy as far as this notification is considered you should also submit a hard copy of it so remember that and don't forget uh, uh, doing it the last date for submitting the fee uh, for this application uh, uh, is going to be 18th of November 2024 and the last date for uh, reconciliation and corrections or modifications that's going to be 25th of November and the last date for the submission of hard copy you will need to take a printout and also it has to be sent through some or uh, the details are given in the notification and the address slip also should be taken as a printout only from the UPPSC portal so all these steps you need to do it very carefully handwritten address will not be uh, will lead to the cancellation of the application also so you need to take a printout from the official website and also uh, send these hard copy has uh, a hard copy of the online application and it should reach the commission by 2nd of December 2024 if you you wish you can also hand over the hard copy uh, by physically visiting the office of UPPSE as well uh, if you are far away you can send it to courier as well the details are given in the official notification so that's about the important dates uh, so do not wait till the last date one important point which many people also forget is in order to apply for this post you should also complete OTR one time registration on the website of UPPSE and once you have this OTR number one time, one time registration number only then you can complete the application of this post and uh, it takes generally takes time of two to three days also to get this OTR number so do not wait till the last date first get your OTR register one time registration get it done get the number fill the application complete the fee payment before the deadline of 18th of November and then ensure that you submit the hard copy as well before 2nd of December 2024 so remember the key dates important dates that's going to be crucial for these government jobs because nothing is uh, there are no exceptions and relaxations further in these dates uh, so uh, go with a proper planning uh, from the beginning itself selection procedure as soon as the initial notification which is published right now is considered the details of the examination they have just given that if exam is going to be conducted it will be an MCQ screening based test and it will be having negative marking details have been given but the complete details on the syllabus the number of questions the time duration that is not yet given we will need to wait for further uh, notifications with respect to this job whenever there is an update we will be put out we will be putting out that information on our social media handles so stay connected with us on YouTube and also other social media platforms. The links for all of these uh, 
platforms are given in the description of this video most importantly ensure that you download a kp gate classes mobile application the link for the mobile app is also given in the description of the video you will get a lot of resources on our mobile app with respect to these government jobs uh, so the selection procedure it's going to be a screening test first now uh, however screening test is something which they are saying that they'll conduct only when they have sufficient number of applications if the number of applications are less they will directly conduct an interview however that is highly unlikely to happen because the eligibility criteria is only br not even master's degree last time in UPPSE when there was an opening for assistant town planner the requirement was masters in planning uh, b plan or master so the b, with b plan and m plan uh, graduates within uttar pradesh that number is smaller compared to the ones who are architects with br degree and there was an exam already for atp so it is expected that there will be an exam for this assistant architect as well you should not wait for the last moment kick start your preparation right ahead in the beginning itself that will help you clear the examination with the better score and will uh, give you a better chance of getting into this post so there will be a screening test when I mean, there are a good number of applications which is very highly uh, uh, which is highly likely to happen that there will be a screening test and the details of the test are given in the notification that it will be an objective test with a negative marking of 0.33 marks minus 0.33 that is minus one third of the weightage for every incorrect attempt and it is going to be an OMR based test not a computer one uh, so however the details on the OMR based test uh, the screening test and the number of questions and date and duration these updates are yet to be received once we get those updates we will post out an information on our uh, public platforms like I told you and there is going to be an interview as well uh, generally the weightage will be 75-25% generally higher weightage will be given for the return test itself however these details are still awaited so we will need to wait for it now coming to the preparation how should you prepare for this examination um, considering that there will be an examination and it will be for sure hugely competitive because there are a lot of graduates below 40 years of age with BR degree and also uh, because everyone with the knowledge of Hindi throughout the country can apply it's going to be highly competitive uh, the preparation requires full dedication with a complete understanding of all the subjects of architecture and the basics of planning as well so in this regard we at KP classes with our experience with other government jobs we're going to conduct live online classes uh, with and you'll also get a recorded backup of all these lectures on your mobile app you can also access a test series with a lot of practice questions which are designed particularly for the public service commission PSC uh, state level examinations for assistant architect post and you'll also have a dedicated study material for you so to uh, the uh batches you can enroll into a batch for the preparation of the assistant architect UPPSE at the earliest and kick start your preparation we also run a foundation course wherein if you are planning to prepare for any government job in the sector of architecture or planning you can enroll into a foundation course batch which covers the entire syllabus of various government examinations uh, wherein we uh, this set covers various syllabus of various exams including DDA, HPPSC, Punjab Public Service Commission, RPSC, CMDA and so on many other including the MPSC and also UPPSC uh, syllabus uh, even though the official syllabus is not yet out the syllabus is more or less uh, overlapping for all these posts B basic topics like history of architecture uh, architectural graphics and design standards or say building construction material project management building uh, say uh, estimation uh, these are these basics urban planning housing landscape these basic subjects will for sure be a part of the syllabus irrespective of minor changes in it so in 85 to 90 percent of the syllabus is something which is common for most of the jobs there can be slight variations once we have an official notification in that regard in that regard will help you with those additional topics as well but for now you can enroll into the foundation course batch and start your preparation for this examination uh, and stay ahead of others in your preparation for these posts and um, like I said we have a dedicated set of books for these government jobs including for this UPPSE uh, once you enroll into this batch you will not only get the lectures and the tests but you'll also get a set of books uh, which are dedicatedly de designed for the government jobs and the openings of architects and planners in various 
public service commission uh, openings and vacancies so uh, that was a short video giving you the information for assistant architect post of uppsc whenever we have further updates we'll post out the information do subscribe our youtube channel to be updated on uh, uh, similar openings and vacancies uh, and for any further details you can reach out to our counselors contact number of us is given in the description of this video thank you kp classes dedicated to excellence.